Solving proportions. So what is a proportion? Proportions are two equivalent ratios. If we think about like when we're cooking and we're making a portion of something and we want them to be equal, that is a proportion in math. So what we are going to do is we're going to take proportions and solve them for unknown values. So let's go over really fast equivalent ratios. If I have 1 over 2, okay, 1 to 2, I can double the 1 and I can double the 2 and they're going to be equivalent to each other. So this would be 2, 2, 4. Okay, I can then take it and add another 1 and another 2 and make it equivalent to 3 to 6 because that's what 1 times 3 would be is 3 and 2 times 3 is 6. And I can keep going on this process until I come up with infinite amount of equivalent ratios. So remember, ratios that are equal is just repeated multiplication for each term. And remember, when we do ratios, one is a term and two is a term. We don't look at this as one half. This is one to two when we're talking about ratios. So if we're looking at this example, 12 to 14 is equivalent to what to 28? There are two ways to figure this out. Most of us can see that 14 is being doubled to make 28. So 14 times 2 is 28. So if I'm multiplying the 14 by 2, that means I need to multiply the 12 by 2 as well. So 12 times 2 gives us 24. Okay? We're going to sometimes get numbers that we don't know how many of 14s go into 28. Let's say we have 14 going into... Um, let's say 30, um, 35. How many 14s go into 35? Well, we're not sure how many 14s go into 35. It doesn't go in evenly. So that's when we would use something called cross multiplication. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the two that are diagonal from each other and we're going to multiply them because that's what it, the process is called cross multiplication. So we're going to go across from each other and we're going to multiply y and then we're going to take the number that has been left out and divide it by that number. So if I take 12 and times it by 28 and then divide it by 14, I will get 24 in my calculator. And that is a process called cross multiplication. Some of us might have learned the butterfly method in elementary school where we took these two and multiplied them and took these two and multiplied them and we would get equal numbers to find out if our two fractions are equal to one another. Let's go on to another one. All right, so in this example, I have 42 to 36 is equal to 14 over some number P. So in this case, since my number is going down, I need to figure out how many 14s have gone into 42. So this one would be division. So how many 14s are in 42? I'm dividing 42 by 3 to get 14. So I would need to take 36 and divide it by 3 to get my answer. And 36 divided by 3 is 12. Okay, so this is a type of problem where you can do the division and figure it out, or you are more than welcome to do the cross multiplication process as well and get the same answer at the end. So again, when we cross multiply, we need to find the two that are diagonal from each other, that are across from each other, and we have 14 and 36. So we would take 36 times 14, and we divide it by the number that has been left out, which is 42. And when we put that into our calculator, we will get 12 as our answer as well. So there are two ways on how to solve proportions. We can either figure out what the multiplying or the dividing number is, or we can use cross multiplication division to figure out what the unknown value is.